Hey everybody and welcome to Plastic Nostalgic, where all toys are nostalgic, eventually. Today we'll be heading back to Eternia to check out Stinkor, the evil master of odors. Now I'm kind of scared to get this one out of the package because I'm not really sure what this one smells like because I didn't have this one as a kid, but I'm pretty anxious to get it out of the package to play with it. Just not interested in that smell. So let's open it up and check it out. Today we have the Masters of the Universe Origins Collection action figure of Stinkor. Evil Master of Odors. Product has real smell. Dot, dot, dot. It's fun. It should have been a question mark at the end of that. Well, here we have Stinkor. You could tell by the figure it's got a lot of the same mold features as merman he just got different color plastic molded inside here we have that classic packaging with the explosion in the background they really sold some toys like that here is that let's see if i can get it in there i had it a second ago the sickening foul stench of Stinkor can bring even the mightiest of Eternia's heroes to their knees. And here he is fighting Moss Man. Smell for odor attack. Wow, she looks like she's getting attacked for sure. Twist into powerful battle positions. Of course. And we have on the back, He-Man, Beast Man. Skeletor, the Eternian Goddess, Webstore, and Stinkor. Okay. Well, like I said before, this is not one I had as a kid. I'm a little nervous about opening up the package and checking out the foul stench. But here we go. Always be careful when using a knife. This one also has a comic book on the inside, but this is a comic book. It's the same comic book that was in the web store action figure. And I've already read that one. So if you want to check that out, you can check out the Webster video. And he was a pretty cool action figure too. What I like about these He-Man figures is they were very imaginative in how you played with them. And the people coming up with those toys must have had a lot of fun trying to figure out what to come up with next so kids can play with them. All right. And here he is out of that plastic coffin. Or not. That's right. They always tied in here. Let's get that off. And he's free. Get rid of these. I don't smell anything yet. Well, it doesn't smell, smell necessarily bad. It doesn't smell good. Kind of smells like old plastic. Hmm. Oh, well. Maybe it's more effective on Eternia. Of course, these guys have a lot better articulation than the old ones. Let me get this card back out of the way with the comic book Rock and a Hard Place on it. where they drop that mountain on top of He-Man. Let's see what's in here. Stinkor doesn't come with a weapon, apparently. He just comes with this shield. Because his weapon 
is his odor. Let's slide this in there. And now we have, and now we have his shield. Well, his hand doesn't really want to fit in there well. Let's try the other hand. Okay, thumbs up. There we have Stinkor. Evil master of odors. I was saying before, he has much better articulation than the old figures. With his hands moving, his elbows, that's a big deal. And his shoulders can move various ways. To put him into powerful action poses. And there's one good thing about the He-Man characters back in the days. They stood up real well by themselves because they were so big. And his battle armor looks like it can come off. And as a kid, I would take that off a lot. And it seemed like all of the Masters of the Universe figures shopped at the same pants store. Because they all wore this furry loincloth. He has the hair coloring of a skunk. So I imagine that's what he's modeled after. We have Stinkor from the Masters of the Universe Origins Collection. Thanks for joining us today on Plastic Nostalgic, where all toys are nostalgic. Eventually. <laughs> now this guy, he doesn't necessarily smell bad as far as an offensive weapon goes, but he sure... He sure doesn't smell good. And if you'd like to see some more unboxing of some soon-to-be nostalgic toys, be sure to like and subscribe, and leave a comment down below. See y'all next time!